Hello friends, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365 and today I'm going to review the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray edition of Who Framed Roger Rabbit? If you're new to the channel, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit that bell notification. You can also find me over Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd at MovieGuy365. Alright, Who Framed Roger Rabbit is here on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray, released by Disney. It comes in a slipcover edition, which is available at all your local and online retailers, as well as a Best Buy exclusive steelbook. Now, as far as the film itself, wow, um, I have such a history with this movie, and it was such a staple of my youth. I really just, I, I can't say, you know, great enough things about this movie. This was, you know, in a day of today, where we have such things as crossovers, with, let's say, with the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and that sort of thing, and Ready Player One being another example, I feel Who Framed Roger Rabbit really was one of the first movies that was able to kind of implement an entire uh, just cartoon universe and put it all in one film. Even back then, I kind of knew how, how much of an undertaking this was, and really it hasn't been duplicated since. This is also a movie I saw multiple times in my local theater as a kid. I, I think it was at least four or five times, and you know, even today, it's it's rare when I go to a movie that many times, especially now with you know how often it comes out, or how quickly it comes out rather in uh, your home theater. But uh, yeah, Who Framed Roger Rabbit? I just I absolutely love this one. Of course, Jessica Rabbit being a childhood crush, um, but just the film is I feel really great and I was so happy that here that this was coming out on 4k it was also a movie that I've owned every single you know physical media iteration VHS Laserdisc DVD I mean really just being on 4k is you know great and it's just uh, adds a nice you know extra thing to my collection that I really very much appreciate but yeah who framed Roger Rabbit love the film and I can't I can't speak highly enough of this one so yeah definitely check it out all right, we're gonna talk about the picture quality and the audio in just a moment, but first, let's do a quick unboxing. All right, we have the 4K Ultra HD edition of Who Framed Roger Rabbit. I have to say, I was a little initially disappointed I didn't get a hold of the steel book, but the artwork on the standard slipcover, I like it. I really do like it. And maybe I'll pick up the steel book if it becomes available in the near future. And then we have the back and then the spine. And the interior artwork is pretty much the same and some artwork on the 4k disc so yeah overall very nice presentation on the slipcover now let's talk about the picture quality and the audio who framed roger rabbit on 4k ultra hd blu-ray has a 185 by 1 aspect ratio with native 4k resolution and hdr 10 for the grading now the movie has a very fine layer of grain and i think it looks very filmic and cinematic it does not appear that any DNR or post-processing was applied for this release. When it comes to a good HDR grading, especially when it comes to color, often I like to see a good implementation of a little bit of color pop. And I'll be honest with you, I was a little concerned that they were going to overblow the colors when it came to Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Thankfully, the HDR grading makes the colors look very natural and appropriate for the live action elements that are you know consistent throughout the movie. So when a cartoon character is standing next to a live action character, it's not going to look too outlandish and I think it looks very good in that area. I'm definitely not saying there aren't enhancements when it comes to color. Look at Jessica's dress at the Ink and Paint Club near the beginning of the film. It really gives you a nice visual boost. And there are other instances during the final confrontation between Eddie and Doom where those highlights really show off. But the overall color palette is true to the nature of the live action elements and I think it works really well here with HDR. Black levels generally look very favorable. I didn't have any issues with Black Crush like I did on previous existing editions such as the Blu-ray or even the DVD and here they look very good and nuanced. And shadow detail, I think that looks very strong. When Eddie's sneaking around the alley of the Ink and Paint Club, and it looks very nice in those spots. And also in the towards the back half of the film, when he's in the alleys of Toontown, also very appropriate in that area. Shadow detail is handled very well, and I think black levels look good. The 4K resolution does give you an extra bit of detail not found on previous releases. I like the extra textures that can be found, especially in the live action characters. Animation, not so much, but that's not really to be an unexpected development. 
But once again, when you have that up close shot of Eddie in the back alleys of Toontown and Jessica's behind him, you really get the extra bit of facial features and clothing also really benefits here throughout the movie. And even some of the architectural elements also stand out. I'm very impressed with the overall enhancement to detail and it looks very good in 4K. Who Framed Roger Rabbit on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray supports a new Dolby Atmos audio presentation. Now, while a Dolby Atmos upgrade is a very nice addition, of course, this being a Disney release, we're not exactly getting the most dynamic when it comes to the audio experience. The center channel handles dialogue clean and clear with no issues to report during the duration of its runtime. The same can be said for the front speakers. They handle any activity up front and they do a very good job. The mid-level and rear speakers, they're used pretty sporadically. They're not really all that dynamic, but occasional atmospheric or ambient effects and musical cues can be heard with no issues in that area. The height speakers are also used in the same regard. They're mostly complimentary, and there isn't a whole lot going on when it comes to discrete channel activity. As for the LFE channel, as with most Disney releases, I'm afraid it's a little bit on the weak side. There are a lot of good scenes I would have benefited from a boost in that department when the characters are at the terminal bar and it's shaking or later on in the film when the dip machine's getting ready to crash through Toontown, it just comes across as a little bit weak. Typical Disney release here and unfortunately your LFE channel is not getting much of a workout. For the picture quality, I'm going to give Who Framed Roger Rabbit on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray a solid B. The HDR grading I feel does a very good job giving you visual enhancements on the 4K disc. The color palette won't melt your eyeballs, but it stays true to the live action elements and noir style of the film. Black levels look appropriate and the uptick in resolution is a nice upgrade. I recommend this disc for anybody's collection and especially if you're a fan of the film. For the audio mix, I'm going to give this one a B-. While a Dolby Atmos upgrade is always a welcome addition, this being a Disney release, you're not getting a whole lot of bang for your buck. The surround sound activity is kept to a minimum with occasional ambient, atmospheric, and musical cues, but admittedly, everything up front does sound very good. Those expecting a robust Dolby Atmos presentation, you might be disappointed, but it's still an average listening experience. So that is my review of Who Framed Roger Rabbit on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray. If you're interested in picking this up for yourself, I will leave an Amazon link in the comments section below. If you use it, it really helps out the channel. But if you have the disc already, let me know your thoughts. In the meantime, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. So until next time, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365. I will see you at the movies.